All right, so anytime you cut plates with tin snips, it's not going to be perfectly flat. You're going to have to do some work on it. Now when you work on your plates, just, you can hammer on the edges, but do not hammer in the middle. Make dings in, the, in the, any of the place where the electrolyte's going to be. You'll make places where the current will flow differently, short across the plate. So this one is relatively flat. So you just sight down it, find an area that's not quite flat. Now this, you probably can't see it on the video, but this curves this way. So I'm going to hammer on the high side. The, this, the metal on this side of the cut is longer than the metal on this side. It's been stretched. So you want to squish this out so it makes this side longer to match, and that'll flatten it out. It's sort of hard to explain. You've got to actually try it yourself on some scrap, preferably. And uh, you'll be able to see what happens when you tap on the edge. What you're doing is you're pinching the edge of the of the metal with your hammer to making whatever side you're hammering longer. Okay, so you won't be able to see that on the camera probably, but it's pretty straight. Now you have to rely on the, once you get it, it's not going to be perfectly flat and if, once you sight down sometimes you'll see bows in it. If you see a bow, you have to like go on the edge of your kitchen counter or someplace where it's round and smooth and push on it a little bit at a time to work that bow out. You're not going to be able to get them perfect, but you get them as close as you can and then you can rely on the, the pressure on the gaskets to hold it flat. Hello, I'm back. I um, drilled the holes in the sandwich boards. I clamped them together, the spring clamps, lined them up as good as I could, and then drilled these holes. Um, these holes, I'm going to use quarter inch bolts, but these holes are 3 eighths of an inch. It's just the right size for the plastic sleeve to fit through, too. Uh, washers on both sides. Uh, previously, in my other cell, I had a hard time getting the distance, the, the length of that vinyl to be just right. Uh, and then it was either too short or too long, and when I tightened down the plates, it would get squished. So this time I'm going to have the vinyl telescope into the sandwich boards, and I'll have washers on both sides, and that should work better. Um, I drilled all these with a 3 8 uh, brad point bit, and that seemed to work pretty well. Now the holes for the vent, temperature gauge, the fill hole, and the drain hole, I used a 7 16 spade bit. Forgot to bring it out here. Um, now there's going to be vent holes on both sides, fill holes on both sides. The temp hole and the drain hole is only going to be one side. Well, I was drilling away and forgot about that, so the temperature hole I drilled through all the way through, so that's going to be plugged. Now the vent, temp, fill, and drain all have to be tapped with quarter inch national pipe thread. And that's what this is. I picked that up at Harbor Freight. I don't have a tap handle big enough to fit it, so I took a square drive socket. This one is a uh, 7 16 square socket. and just took a piece of scrap I had laying around, a piece of paper, made it so it has a nice press fit. And that works pretty good for a T-handle. Now, to test the threading, I, uh, I put that in by hand, can't get it out. Alright, to test the threading, I took a piece of the scrap nylon. It's only 3 eighths of an inch thick, so I have to be real careful about how deep I tap it, because you don't want your fittings to stick through. Now, I have those thick gaskets uh, that give me, I don't know, 40 thousandths or so of extra play, maybe 50 thousandths, so I can have it stick through a little bit and not get into trouble. So, I set up my tap. This hole's already started. 
Now you want to make darn sure if you start the hole and, and put the tap back in there that you do not cross thread it because you'll booger up your threads irredeemably. So when you're when you're tapping this stuff, it'll tap pretty easy at first and then it starts to bind. You don't want to force it because you'll crack your plastic. So basically you give it a quarter turn forward and a quarter turn back, work it back and forth like that until you get it down to about where you think it should go. Then back it off. Clean out the threads, thread it back in and, and do a go again. But every periodically you're going to want to test it to see if it is the right depth. This one can go a little bit further. It's got I got a nice fit right now. So by the if I tighten it up a little bit, it should work pretty good. I don't want it to stick out. I want it to be perfectly flush or recessed a little bit. But there's enough threads there to hold the fitting. Just keep in mind when you put that Teflon tape on there, it's going to be more slippery and will go in further. Now I've got some pretty decent threads on there. On my earlier, my first cell that I made, I drilled these holes half inch, or actually a little bit bigger than half inch, half inch national pipe thread, because that's what the fittings I had were. And to get a half inch national pipe thread to thread just right into this thin stuff, it just didn't work very well. So that's why I switched back to quarter inch. You might even uh, eighth inch national pipe thread would probably work even better. So that's how you, I drilled test holes half inch and seven sixteenths, seven sixteenths is what worked. So now I've got to tap these. So I'll tap them, and uh, I've already flattened the plates. And once I get these holes tapped, it'll be time to start assembly. I forgot an important point. Once you get your tap so the threads are cut to the depth you want, you've got to mark it. So I marked it with black magic marker. Now that marker will come off with uh, denatured alcohol. So you don't have to worry about having a permanent mark on there because you want to make different ones at different times. So anyway, there's your mark. I know that's how deep I have to go.